Hi guys. Okay, so today we're making Pringles shaker favors. Say that three times fast. So this is a really fun and easy tutorial. I hope you guys love it. All you're gonna need is a 1.3 ounce can of Pringles and a label. I designed this label already in Photoshop. You can use Canva if you choose. I have a template for both. Check the description box below. So as soon as you have your label on your can, don't worry about the tab, it's gonna get hidden. So you're gonna need a three inch circle. I punched this out of glitter cardstock using a three inch hole punch. You can cut it on your cutting machine if you wish. And I'm just adding that to the top so I have sort of like a floor for when I add in my shakers. Now for this part, you're gonna need a fillable ornament. Three inches will do. You're also gonna need something to fill it with. I really love these little foam balls. Any type of glitter you like or sequins. I'm using some mermaid sequins, which go really, really cute with the theme. And then I'm gonna finish it off with some blue foam balls. So they look kind of like bubbles. You can choose to add a 3D uh, image to your topper at this point. I just went ahead and added a five to match the birthday girl's age, which is on the front of the label. Add a little square or rectangle to the bottom of whatever you decide to cut out. So that way you can fold it and make it stand. I used Beacon Zip Dry and it was perfect for this project. I decided to cover it up since the back of the cardstock was white and I didn't really want that to show. Once I did that, I put some Zip Dry all the way around my dome and my fillable ornament. And then I'm just going to close it all together to make a shaker. Now you're just gonna go ahead and close everything up. Make sure to add your tab inside. Once they pull off that dome, it's gonna be so easy to open the chips. Next, I'm just gonna add a strip to the top. Now the sizes for the strips are included in my templates below. There's one for Canva and one for Photoshop. You can also cut the strips out on your favorite cutting machine. I used a hot glue gun for this part just to make sure it adheres to the plastic. Next, I'm gonna add my thinner strip which is optional. You don't have to add the bottom strip at all. You could leave it with just the label all the way to the bottom, but I thought it would be fun to show you everything you can do with it. So I'm adding my thinner strip to the bottom and closing that up. And there you have it, you guys. How easy and fun was that? Now you have the most adorable favors for your next party. Can't wait to see what you create. Bye.